So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly challenges for week 10. This is not going to be too crazy considering we only have four challenges to complete. So before I end up going to week nine and doing the week nine challenges, even though I didn't do it last week, which I do apologize. Uh, let's just get right into it. So snuffed out. Defeat Morak, uh, Light Stealer, Ulnath, Light Cleanser, and Korosek, Thronebringer in Psy Battlegrounds. So this one, I don't know if you can choose them now. That'd be really cool. Un or unless you have to specifically choose the ones on the planets. Either way, this may or may not be hard. We'll look at it once we see what uh, the, the, the uh, Lost Sectors are. Next one, PSYOP speed up, speed ups, complete all uh, PSYOP battlegrounds in under 11 minutes each, launch to the PSYOPs battleground directly from the EDZ Cosmodrome and moon on the destination tab on the director. Okay, I, I appreciate that they tell you that. So the moon's the only one that I'm missing. Next one is stalwart skin, acquire the stalwart skin ornament for reckless ornament. This one is, this one should be Vanguard. Only reason I say that is because, well, this could be PvP. We'll we'll see this the shotgun in a bit. Uh, a night on the moon. On the moon, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. <sighs> this one, honestly, you just have to just do the things. Uh, I would say lost sectors is probably going to be your fastest thing, uh, just because it takes literally like not even five minutes to complete some of them. Although some of the moon ones are pretty long. Now that I think, think about it, so it might be like over over five minutes maybe uh either way that's pretty much it for the challenges not a lot this week uh for the eververse store we have the vibrant medusa which i am not the biggest fan of the shader personally i'm not a big fan of green unless it's like dark dark green like viridian green viridian i think it's viridian uh we have hive ghostly projection we have the infinality ornament for the exotic which i'm not a big fan of this exotic to begin with so i don't really care for it and i probably will not get it uh for the eververse stuff or the bottom stuff we have pale rider which is from c is it this season or season of the chosen either or i think this is chosen this is not my favorite skin for it it's not that great in my opinion but i mean go ham now, it does look like the doom shotgun though we have the helmets for the Abyss Walker and the other, I don't remember the other names for the other ones. These, the, I think this is the last piece that we needed. Oh, I don't know why I say, I think I just made a video uh, review in the set. Yeah, this is the last piece we needed for this armor set. So if you guys missed out on any, uh, that's unfortunate because they're never coming back. Uh, for the vehicle, we have the five piece ear. What? SP, I don't know. Uh, it's fine. We have the eggshell, which some people might actually lose their shit over this one. And then some other stuff. For shaders, we have Time Honored, which I personally think this doesn't look that good. Kind of boring in my opinion. Uh, we have Byzantine, Byzantinium uh, Lotus, which I am not the biggest fan of this one. This is no secret. I just, every time we have this shader, why, why, would we, why do we always get the shader, dude? This is like the fucking third or fourth time we got this shader this season stop it uh reef made which is okay definitely definitely okay i think it's the pink it's too a little too vibrant for this purple 44 steel which is pretty cool eh, very very like i don't know i like it but at the same time i hate it it's very very weird and that's pretty much it uh for the lost sectors let's actually try to see if we can find it in the ground world uh metamorphosis so this one is not that hard it is annoying though exotic arms so if you guys are missing the new arms for the hunter or just arms in general or the warlock that's the other one then definitely pick it up as for the shotgun skin because i am actually curious let me see what was it the stalwart i think it was also apologize that this video is getting a little bit longer but i just want to make sure So it should be actually it should be under the so it is it is the vanguard one that's what i was yeah okay so 
Yeah, just make sure you get the shotgun from from the Vanguard. Again, unfortunately, I think I've said this in a video before, but I'll just reiterate it for people who are new. Um, for example, I have I already completed it on my on my PVP on my Crucible, so that meant that I got the shotgun and then I had to go back to that same rank to get the skin. You have to do that for each of the playlist ones. So even though you already have the shotgun, you have to reacquire the shotgun for the Vanguard and Gambit and then prestige it and then go back to that rank. So that's unfortunate, very annoying because I would have liked it if that once you get that shotgun, you just have to get the skins after that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I haven't been making videos because I've been busy and uh, just busy overall honestly if you really want to get into it uh, i can in a video but i don't want to get into it too much here but essentially i have the review for the eververse armor going up probably today or tomorrow and i will have some destiny 2 content i have to I have to play because i haven't been playing so uh i do apologize for people who have been wanting to watch content uh but yeah let me know what you guys think and then i'll see you guys later